Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Talflator Mouse. Our recent tests using the 69 caliber mini balls out of a shotgun were really a, a very good success. We had a lot of challenges to make these things work, and despite that, even though it worked very well, there was certainly no shortage of criticism saying that we did everything wrong somehow. That's how the internet works. Now the biggest criticism was that people thought that a 69 caliber mini ball would function perfectly fine through a 73 caliber shotgun without wads or a sabo. Now these are not stupid comments and they're not stupid people that are leaving these comments. It's a result of not being able to really explain how and why we did things to make these things function and function accurately. Now the entire segment that I'm about to show you was actually recorded before we started testing these things and it was intended to be part of the main video. But because of the ever tightening rules on YouTube, just showing people how to cast a lead bullet will give you a channel strike these days. Unfortunately from this point on we're going to have to be very careful about what we can actually shoot out of a, out of a shotgun. I know that 3D printed slugs are a big no-no for some reason on YouTube so we can't do those anymore. Anyway, this is what the 69 caliber mini ball looks like inside my rifle choke. You can see there's a large gap around it. Now if you're a car guy, you, this will make sense to you. This is like running a piston that's a quarter inch smaller than the bore. You know that's not going to work. You're not going to have good compression and the engine's just going to rattle like a rock crusher. This mini ball is 40 thousandths of an inch smaller than the bore of the shotgun. While 40 thousandths of an inch or about one millimeter may not seem like a really big gap, as far as firearms go, this is like trying to shoot a 38 out of a 45 ACP. Now in this test, we're using smokeless powder and not black powder, and smokeless powder requires a much higher pressure just to fully combust. So if we just threw some smokeless powder in a shell and set the mini ball on top of it, well, when the primer goes off, all the pressure is just gonna bypass and go around the mini ball and we'll never build up enough pressure to set off the main charge. And when the main powder doesn't ignite, you end up just blooping the projectile out maybe five feet out of the barrel. So it's really important to have a very effective and efficient gas seal. Even though it's unlikely to happen, let's speculate and see what happens if we do get full powder ignition. The thinner conical cavity of the mini ball is designed to expand and or obtuate under pressure to grab onto the rifling and the barrel. But we'd have absolutely no support for the front end of the bullet and the entire bullet would just rattle down the barrel and come out at a, just a random angle and we'd have absolutely no accuracy. But it's completely unlikely that we'd ever get powder ignition to cause that obtuation to begin with. Since the mini ball is a subcaliber round or smaller than the inside diameter of the barrel, we'll treat this like any other subcaliber projectile and use a Sabo. The Sabo just fills the space, that's all it does. The mini ball is now fully supported by that Sabo and that'll keep it riding straight down the barrel. That's what we want for accuracy. It also maximizes the surface area to better engage the rifling. And the final benefit of using a Sabo is the mini ball never actually contacts the barrel, so we'll get no lead fouling. The sealing of the gases will be done with an FS-12 gas seal. This is made in Italy by a company called Gualandi. This replaces the sloppy gas seal that was originally on this target load wad. The FS-12 gas seal is short and stout, but it's also very robust and can handle this very heavy payload. This is all loaded into a two and three quarter inch hole, so yes, these will work fed from a box magazine too. The conical cavity of the mini ball is actually a liability because it gives us so little support to push against. Therefore, we fill that cavity with hot glue. We've now maximized the surface area on the back of the mini ball, and this actually protects the wad from, <laughs> from self-destructing. Without it, the gas seal and the rear end of the Sabo would just get shoved into that cavity. We've now effectively lost our gas seal, and that 11,000 PSI impulse of pressure, it's going to take the path of least resistance and just blow everything right past our projectile. Just like a high performance engine, a firearm is a precision machine and attention to detail is very important if you want to have good results. Had we just sloppily 
propelled a 69 caliber mini ball down a 73 caliber bore, well, the results would have been absolutely miserable and possibly even dangerous. I hope you enjoyed this video and it cleared up some of your questions. Thank you.